Hi, this is Misty Johnson from the Zanesville Museum of Art with another Material Explorations with Misty. Today I'm showing you how to make artwork with leaves from your backyard. So the first thing you want to do is go outside and look for some leaves. And if you're not a real naturey person, you might want to take someone with you so you can make sure you, for one, are allowed to pick the leaves. And number two, making sure you're not uh, getting anything like poison ivy or something like that. So um, carefully select your leaves from out in the backyard and then we are ready to get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is um, a pretty pretty common activity and you may have you may have tried this before and it is what we call a leaf rubbing. So you take your leaf and leaves will have a smooth side and then a more textured side. You want the more textured side or the rougher side to be facing up and you're going to put that underneath your paper like that. And then all you do is you take a crayon and you want to make sure you're holding that leaf down so it doesn't move around as you're um, drawing on it. And you just take your crayon and just run it back and forth until you've gone around the whole leaf, gone over the entire leaf. And you'll see a nice, nice impression of your leaf. So that's just one way that you can use leaves to create artwork. The next thing you can do is you can take your leaf rubbings. Here's one where I did several leaf rubbings on one piece of paper and you can take watercolor and go over your leaf rubbings. And if you caught one of my last segments where I talked about watercolor resist, this is a version of that where you take your paint take your watercolor paint and go over your leaf rubbing and anywhere where that crayon is, resist the paint. So that's another way that you can kind of dress up your, your leaf rubbings. And you can have a lot of fun with that. And on this piece of paper, I did a few rubbings with the white crayon. And so I'll show you what that looks like. So I did one down here, so I'm just going to take this blue paint and just go over that. And you can see the outline of the leaf from the white crayon. And I have one more over here, so I'm going to go ahead and go over that. And if you want darker colors, you just don't use as much water. So you can dry off your brush a little bit and I'm going to try red. So the less water you use, the darker your color. And so we have a watercolor resist created with leaves. Now you can do other things with leaves too. I'm gonna to show you a couple more things. One thing you can do with leaves and watercolor is you can actually paint directly on your leaf. I'm, I'm blotting off my brush here so I don't get a, a lot, lot of water. And so if you paint your leaf, so I'm gonna start with a little bit of blue here And then put, put some red. And let's try some purple. So I painted directly on my leaf and now I'm gonna use that and use my leaf almost like a stamp. I'm just gonna gently lay it on my paper and press and then lift it up and you have a 
pretty leaf impression. And what I like to do is you could repaint this leaf, but see how there's still some left? You can get another interesting leaf print by just pressing it right back down on the paper. See that one with less paint, you see a little bit more detail of the leaf. <laughs> and you can keep doing that until it's out of paint. See, that one's about out of paint. Now, one last thing that you can do with, uh, with leaves and watercolor is you can take your leaf and lay it right down on your paper and then get some paint. And just like when I did the leaf rubbing, I'm using this hand to hold it down and I'm just painting all around this leaf. And there we have another cool way of using leaves. And you can use any of these methods by themselves or you can add them all together. So in this work, you see the leaf rubbings. So you see the rubbings here. You see uh, the leaf stamps here and here. And then you can see where I put the leaves down on the paper and paint it around them. And when they're all combined, it makes some pretty interesting effects. So that's just a few things you can do with leaves. I'd love to hear if you have other project ideas that you can make with leaves from your backyard. And of course, if you try our project, we'd love to see it. If you post that to our Facebook page with the hashtag MyZMAArt, we would love to see those. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I'll see you next time on Material Explorations with Misty.